Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. My name is Jackson Dynamite, and you're in Uber Earth, the place of all Ubers. Today on the show, we've got a lot of great stuff for you. We're going to actually work on some walls at the village that we found a bunch of episodes ago. But also, we're going to talk about a stoic comment from the stoic book that I've been reading. Yes. And, uh, and along the way, we'll uh, build some walls. <laughs> So let me get to it. Let me get off my, uh, put some coal in my hand. This is my microphone. Hello. So this stoic note here is called, When good men do nothing, often injustice lies in what you aren't doing, not only in what you are doing. So this is interesting. History abounds with evidence that humanity is capable of doing evil, not only actively, but passively. In some of our most shameful moments, from slavery to the Holocaust to segregation to murder, guilt wasn't limited to per perpetrators, but to ordinary citizens who, for a multiple of reasons, declined to get involved. It's that old line, all evil needs to prevail, all evil, do all evil needs to prevail is for good men to do nothing. It's not enough just to not do evil. You must also be a force for good in the world as best you can. I'm blown. That's pretty awesome. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But this I wanted to show you before we get walking on our, on our road there. What do you guys think of this? So we had a hill coming out here going up to where we uh, did our chicken stuff. And then I decided on a Twitch stream the other day, let's just revamp it a little bit. So we come out these doors, and here we are in our little tiny courtyard, protected by the walls. Nothing can get in here. <laughs> little, little, little do I know something jumps over the fence. Nothing can get in here. We can we can throw stuff in the furnace. We can check and see how our chickens are coming. It's a nice little quaint place to maybe smelt some things down and make some tools. I like it. I think I need a few more picture frames in here with some tools on it, but it's good. And we actually, in that episode, if you haven't seen it, jump on Twitch. It's only available for a couple more weeks. But uh, we have another idea that we started mapping out, but you'll have to go on there to check that out. So, what do you think about that thought, that stoic thought? Evil, where's our path? Evil prevails when good people, good men and women don't do anything. Uh, in church circles, sometimes they call that sins of omission. You're actually responsible to do good when you can so if you deliberately don't do something to help somebody and you choose not to and that person suffers or that person, that's a bad thing. They call that sins of omission. So like what this is telling you is that just because you aren't the one who did the, the evil thing doesn't mean you're innocent. Because if you could have stopped the evil thing, right? Uh, a good example in modern times might be that scene from the Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, right? He had all that power, and he chose not to use it to stop that bad guy who was running down the hall with the other guy's money. It was a sin of omission. He's guilty, well, of his uncle's death, right? He's guilty of all the bad that happened after that moment because he omitted to do something when he should have. Interesting thought, interesting thought. Here we are at the walls. So today on the show, we're going to basically work on these walls and make them a little bit nicer. We did work a little bit. I can see here we added some shrubs here at the end, but we need to make these walls pop, and we need to make them stand out a little bit more for us. So let us see what we can do. Let's play around a little bit here with these walls. I did get a bunch of spruce logs for us. And if that is the corner, then we're going to go, let's let's do maybe six panes, one, two, or do you want to, we can always change the door. Let's just change it from where this corner is. So one, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we got boom. So we're going to do this first. We'll stick that up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. This has got to go. Those can stay. going to stick up a little bit taller, which is kind of cool. You don't want it to look all the same all the time. So there's a door. So we got one, two, three doors, one, two, three, and then we have, you know what, let's, 
Let's get this one out of here, and let's stick this out. That's, oh, that's an actual tree, huh? So we'll just put this one out a little bit, since those are sticking out. And we are losing daylight, people. Losing some daylight. I am hoping I added some beds to these houses. If not, we're in Twabo. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see what we got. Did I add house? Did I add little beds? Maybe not to this little house. Nope. This house has to have a bed. Come on. Yeah. What's going on, weirdos? <laughs> What's shaking, weirdos? Be right back. Good morning, weirdos. They're just sitting there. They're still weird. I got some coal. Yeah, my trade with you. What are you gonna do? Yeah, make a baby, you two. Do what you can do. I'm gonna close the door. They're talking. They're talking. Shh, guys, they're talking about it. Look. So, uh, you wanna make a baby? You wanna make a baby? Yeah, maybe we should make a baby. What do you think? I don't know. I think maybe we maybe we could. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe we should. I mean, we're alone. I mean, except for that other guy that showed up. Who's this guy in the background? Oh, what a bunch of weirdos. Boy, did I peg them. I nailed it. So the big question, have you guys been a people of do? Are you getting things done today to better your life and the lives of the people around you? That is one of our catchphrases. That is something we all need to do every day, right? It actually folds into the topic of, you know, always doing good. Even when there's something, you're not the one committing the evil. Do something good. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. Bam. There we go. All right. So now we got some. We got some. Some spruce logs. Some pillars. For this little. This little retreat house. This is almost like a citadel. <laughs> it's almost like a place where people can stay away from the outside world. I don't want to be with you anymore. All right, let's see. Maybe uh, maybe we add something like that at the bottom. What do we think here? What do we think? We could do something like that. And then we go like this. Boom, boom. Let's see what we got here. Things have been super busy at the Dynamite household. Um, summer, well, summer's here, so the summer of 2018, and summer with a bunch of children is, like, busy, <laughs> let me tell you, lots of stuff going on, but we got them signed up for swim, you gotta teach your kids how to swim, swim's a good thing, um, oh, I can tell you a funny story, a good story for you. So if you are a church-going folk, we actually had one of our kids, uh, this past weekend throw up at church. That was that was a first for us. Um, wasn't cool. <laughs> it was really awkward for everybody involved. But yeah, it was my uh, mama dynamite's looking at me, and and sometimes we do sign language at church, um, so we know I know what she's what she's getting at, and uh, I thought I'm looking at her face, and she's trying to. I thought she's trying to sign language me something, but I couldn't figure it out, and I'm trying to read her lips. Lo and behold, in between us is one of the kids puking. And I'm looking at her going, what do you want me to do? What's going on? Is somebody got to go to the bathroom? Who's got to go to the bathroom? I'm trying to pray here. I'm trying to get some church stuff done here, man. What, 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 what's going on? What, what's, what's and all this is happening, and you see a kid going, bleh, bleh, bleh. And then it took another one of my kids to like poke me on the shoulder and say, uh, "Papa, uh, so and so is uh, puking all over the floor and the pew and the kneeler and everywhere." Because my kid's German. Um, cobblestone walls. We like cobblestone walls. We want to just add like. I'm trying to think. Like, do we want to make this? Anything crazy, or do we want to keep it? Because we can keep it simple. You know? We could add a couple blocks here and there and keep it simple. Because you're going to come along this trail, and you want a nice little... A nice little fort. 
So we want to connect, um, like, like, what do we call it? We could connect the top. Maybe we can connect the t this top part with some, uh, something like that, maybe. So that would prevent people, they try to climb up, they can't really get over that, you know? They can't climb straight up, but they'd have to come out a little bit. That could work. And then we could do that, and then we can do that over here. Do that a little bit more. But definitely throw some comments down on the video in regards to what you think about that stoic comment. I mean, do you find that there's times in your life where you know or you think you probably could have done something to stop something bad from happening, but you, you deliberately chose not to do it? Does it ever happen to you? we got to work on that if that's happening. you got to definitely work on that because that is something, you know, if you had like that Spider-Man scene, if you had the ability to stop the person from coming through there, right? They've been pretty awesome. So those are vents. What happens if we uh, do something like that and then something like this? I like having the holes there. I almost want to have another one here like that. And I almost don't like the stair under here. And that changes everything, doesn't it? All right, well, let's get rid of this stair. Maybe we add a cobblestone block like that. Nope. We'll add one straight on. Let's do it straight on. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Nope, no way. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of a modest door going into the village. It's kind of a... I don't really like it. I want to have... We should probably get, like, a cool redstone door. Um, maybe we can build up this part of the wall a little bit. But... It is what it is. That's right. You heard me. You hear me, Kappa. I'm not sure, you know. I don't know if I want to go... If we added six, we could add something in the middle here. What if, uh, would stone work if we just did, like, something like this, and, see, yeah, we don't want to cover those blocks. Okay, get back here, get back here. So what if we, yes, that looks, looks really weird. Nope, don't like that at all. Oh, uh, cobblestone walls, we could do cobblestone walls. Oh, and we got cracked, cracked stone. That's always, uh... Cracked stone could always work. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. We gotta get rid of this... Chop it all out. All right, what do we like? Do we like this? It's kind of cozy. See, we're, we're not we're not protecting like a castle, right? We're just protecting like a small village. So you you don't need to have anything crazy. But we do want to have we do want to have some walls that add some character, right, to the place. But nothing, nothing too crazy. I like the vines. I think the vines look good. A um, couple mossy cobblestone blocks. I think was actually kind of fun to throw those in there. Just as a little bit of texture. But, you know, maybe even get rid of this and put another one there. Something like that. If we get some vines, we have vines growing anywhere here, because that could play out. That could play pretty well too if we get some vines going in here. You know what, too? Let's go up to the tippity top. And let's maybe... There we go. Because this is going to have to have... Maybe we could even have, like, a walkway up here. Now that we have that, uh... 
Don't come out. Come out. Can I not make this jump? Oh. <laughs> My timing. Oh, gosh. There we go. So, we could... Oh, we could put the stairs on both sides, right? We could do something like this. Maybe. Maybe not like that, but we could... Alright, let's try this, and then I'll make... What we'll do is we'll do this, and then I'll put some I'll put some logs up here. We need a crafting table. So let's get a crafting table. Yes, I, of course I brought one. Come on. And then we'll take some of these pieces of wood, and we will make some slabs the way that you're supposed to make slabs. And then we'll go up to the tippity top. And we should probably, maybe we can have a, uh, No, let's do this. I just took away my crafting book. Let's get rid of some of these. There we go. Some of these extra things that we're not going to need right now, but we might need in a little bit. And it's bedtime. Let's go to sleep. I'll be back after the... Okay. We are back. And then we're going to need... What we're going to need, though, is a, a little like staircase to get up some kind of little staircase to get up here I mean we could always do a ladder but yeah okay let's get rid of this something just something simple maybe right we could even like do that or we could even get rid of these blocks and do something like that you know so we're up here and then my thought up here is that we get the spruce logs and then maybe we get rid of this whole inner section and we, we replace it with the planks so let's just try this and see what it looks like now we could make a groove I mean, do we, do we like having a groove like this? I mean, texture's always fun. You come up, yeah, I like that. I, like I think I like that. And then we probably, up here, we probably want like, um, we probably want a fence, right? Maybe some fencing between. We could do stone fencing. So let's do both. Let's, let's make some stone fencing and let's make some regular fencing and let's do the, the fencing challenge. And we will see which one looks cooler. Let's see which one looks cooler. Okay, okay, relax, relax. I hear them, they're all excited. Excited to get their walls built. But you gotta understand, villagers, this is gonna take forever to build your walls. Alright, so let's go. And let's do this. All right, now let's go outside and check it out. Any bad guys out here? All right, what do I like? Oh, I think I like the fencing. Uh, yeah, you know what? It, I think it's because I can see behind it, right? So if you can see behind the fencing, it 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 adds a little depth that I don't think the stone walls give us. The stone wall blends in like you can't even really tell it's a stone wall. I guess you can a little bit, but let's let's replace some more fencing and see what happens. Oh yeah, this is coming along. Let's go up there and do that. Put this boop. Oh, we we could actually we could actually renovate this too. And make it so, well, we can make it so the, the way to get up there is over there, right? And then we could do something like that. Yes. Oh, I like it. And then we 
we can get this out of here and we can basically do this. Oh, that 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 was like perfectly perfectly designed, right? That's pretty cool. This actually doesn't even need to be a staircase, theoretically, right? And then this block here probably shouldn't be a staircase either. This is where probably we can make like um, cracked stone or something, or you know what? We can even give me my cracked stone back. We can even just fake it by putting that there. And then over here, I could put uh, just a block of cobblestone, just to be, just to be cool. So there's like a little way to get up here, and then oh yeah, and then you can go over here. It's like a little tower, a built-in tower. And you go down here, and let's get rid of these walls because this is not going to work for us. And let's put this in, and we'll go check it out from the ground. Boom. Yeah, that could work. It's just a, uh, a little fenced in area. So let me fence in some more of this wall. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a sneak peek of this. But I think... Oh. I think this place was buried or built on a on a buried on a graveyard because I think I'm hearing like some major really mad bad, bad bad things. All right, so I had an idea for this corner. So the other corner down there has a house, right? So I'm thinking we build a little house over here. So this goes into a cave with bad guys. That's there. And this goes into a cave with bad guys. Nice, right? But I'm thinking right here, we build a house. Maybe it'd be better to go out there. We build a, just like the other side, we build it just Minecraft style, right? Cobblestone square with some stuff hollowed out. Oh. Freaked out, getting freaked out. But we need to build it. Four, five, two, three. Oh, hello there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then like that. That makes sense, cause then the, with my my idea the idea here is in this house one one two three four five something like that maybe, and we can all right let's let let us seal this hole up. Let's go to bed. Be right back. Right, let's walk the trail. We're walking the trail. So my idea is this is going to this is going to end up basically going into right into another house. See how this is built into the wall? So we'll basically go right into it. Maybe there'll be like two floors. And we'll have to figure this out, but let's put some cobblestone up. We'll get some of this back when we build the walls. But let's get rid of this for now. And we don't need this. Right? Because we're doing this four there. Maybe. Alright, so let's get rid of this. A bad guy down there, so let's make a cobblestone basement here. All right, ran out. We can use some stone. Okay, so this is going to basically go into a room. 
Got no more cobblestone. I got a little bit more cobblestone. So let's do this. Let's, uh... But you know what I did like? I did like how the other side went up. So I think maybe we'll have to do that too. Like we can go... All right, let's get some cobblestone in here. Something like that. And then this went up, and I think it went up again. So maybe that could be the top. Right? And what was the top? The top had... The whole top is logs, so once we're up here, it's surrounded by logs, and it's wood planks, not slabs, but we can make it what we want. So it goes up, and then the entire top is logs. We can do this. any planks I do I have more planks than anything so let's do that so it goes up and I think that, that did something like that come on tree oh, I got I kind of got off kilter a little bit there hey, you know so uh, this one maybe we'll do um, maybe we'll do planks because then we can actually keep it the height we want and we will make it magical how we get out of here all right let's jump down here but yeah we'll we'll, we'll make this all right so let me get the let me get this top looking nice like this one here uh, so it's blocks all around planks in the middle with some fencing and I'll be right back there we go so here we have it. We got a little defensive wall here. And then if we go outside, which we can always jump our fence, we have a nice little corner block here. And now we just need to carve out. Although we wouldn't want vandals to come in, so maybe we'll uh maybe we'll make the windows like a little higher. Something like that. Because on the other one, I think the windows are like that. Help me! I want to get in. Maybe that could be like ground level. Yeah, because they, they had some stuff down there. Yeah, their window was only actually one. All right, yeah. So it's only it's only one little block. We can do that. It's like that. But maybe because we made this a little wider we can we can do something like this make two windows there and then we can do the same thing over here see i told you all the cobblestone is coming back to us and that's something like that maybe That's kind of, that's even that's kind of a lookout. That's almost like kind of a fort as well. And then to finalize this today, maybe we can have a couple uh, a couple of weird shifty pieces uh, around the outside here, like this. And then maybe so that we're gonna do the same wall up here around the whole base. Same thing. So let's just go inside and look out those windows and we'll wrap it up for today. And before we wrap up, let me just show you what the inside. So we might want to make a little bit more of a support down here. I hear somebody. Where is he? But anyway, you can go inside here close the door and we're nicely protected once we get some do we have any fences left we do let's get some fences in here in case a spider tries to get up here 
But it's a nice little fortified house. I like it. And we need to go to bed like tomorrow, like immediately. And we'll fix this, but this is kind of, this will be like a little way to get down here. And we'll make a couple houses down there. But I think that is wrapping it up. So, like I always say, be people who do get things done today to make your life better and improve the lives of the people around you. If my kids are watching, it is completely time for you to go to bed. If my wife's watching, I love you, hon. Thanks so much for everything you do. And if you're watching, do all the stuff you do on the uh, internet. Follow, subscribe, send me checks, whatever you want to do. And uh, But most important thing that you get out of the whole thing, the whole reason I do this, the most important thing, be a better person tomorrow. Do one thing tomorrow to make your life better. You have complete power over it. You can do it. You can. It's all up to you. Don't let the weather tell you how to feel. You wake up sad, make yourself happy. You can do it. You have so much power in your head. So make it a great day. Do something great for your life. One drip at a time can fill a bucket of water at the end of the year. Do one thing tomorrow to make your life better. Start. You got to start somewhere. Thanks. Goodbye.